Hey everybody, I am The Outlier and welcome to Home, a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. Um, this is a pixelated horror video game and uh, I was really looking forward to playing this because I had seen, because uh, I watched Markiplier and he plays a lot of pixelated horror games on his YouTube site. Um, and one of the things he said was, while the graphics may be lacking, the story is always fantastic. And I was very excited that um, there was a pixelated horror game that I could get my hands on, uh, on a medium that I had access to. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4 um, link, and, and, and I'm so bad at mentioning it because I have to get used to it. But uh, in the games that I'm playing now, I'm trying to include links to go purchase the game on PlayStation 4 if you have PlayStation 4 if not you can go to the game's home website and see if it's available on um, whatever medium you have whether that's PC Xbox I doubt very highly if the games that I'm playing would be available on Wii but you can always go and check um, the thing that drew me to this game in particular is uh, when reading up about it one people didn't give it a, a a high rating um, I had seen a lot of like 6.4 6.5s when I looked at it on like uh, IGN and various other uh, video gaming websites um, on its own homepage it got like 8 out of 10s and 4.5s from various other things uh, but it caught my attention because I when I was small was a huge fan of Goosebump books and one of my favorite was the uh, choose your own ending types where it's like you start off on page one and then you have to make a decision and that would take you to like page five or page 37 and then it would direct you here 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 and those books no matter how many times you read them it was hard for me to figure out which uh, would give me all of the endings, all of the multiple endings that the books had. Um, I don't think there was one of those books where I found all the endings. And I still have all my Goosebump books. Um, shoot, I might actually start reading those again. But uh, this is a game in that fashion where the decisions that you make affect the ending that you have. Sort of like Until Dawn, except more open until dawn you kind of had different decisions as to who would die and what but you only had like two real endings uh i'm not going to spoil that but i'm excited to jump into it and i'm excited for you all to take this ride with me in this game your game will be saved automatically at certain points however we recommend you put aside an hour and a half complete home in a single setting Oh, wow. Okay, okay. They want me to complete it in a single setting. So, it's only $4.99. Um, so, let's see. Turn up the sound, turn off the lights. Oh, and this reminded me of White Knight. That's also what I wanted to say about this. All I remember at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Oh, that. Oh. Okay. We're in a room. And it's, it's going to be a lot of dictation. That house. Where was I? Why is my controller rumbling? Whoa, there was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? I didn't recognize his face. He was still kind of warm. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay. It's a rat. Oh, that's a cat. Oh boy, okay. And, and we're in it. Hell no, I'm not going to the basement yet. What is 
dripping. All right. Uh, I'm trying to speak low and keep a low register for the mood of the game. The desk had a computer and some papers on it and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Yes. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? I really, I really shouldn't have been going through this stuff, getting my fingerprints everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Are you the murderer? See, like White Knight, White Knight had the twist ending that I wasn't too fond of. Whereas, like, I can talk about it now because, and, and I hope that you go and you look at my White Knight playthrough. Oh, so that was blood. So what was I doing here? In C, but it's like, oh, there was another way to get the other ending if you had, I think, gotten, like, all the clippings and all the newspaper articles. So I was in the attic. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. So, is this his house? The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Okay. Whatever, dude. What was that? An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. If I... A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guess. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Nah. I figured this was no help to me, so I left it behind. Yeah, I can always come back for it. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to speak low, but if I scream, please forgive me. I'm already getting chills. A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. I freed? Yes. Yes, we help animals here. collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and they were caked in damp, smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? I think I know what happened. I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it'd been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind them. Did I push the switch? Sure. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Of course we push the switches when we come up to them. Oh my goodness. This is giving me the willies. Like, one of the things that plays into my fears is, like, darkness, being alone in a house or a mansion in pitch black. Oh, don't do that to me, game. Being alone, the switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, well... The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor that had obviously been moved before. Maybe I'd found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yeah, why not? I hit the box forward and finally gave. Alright, so I can go downstairs. There's a cage there. Uh, being trapped alone somewhere, like in a house, like a big house, like a mansion, or uh, it looked like I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. So you killed the people in this house, and then the front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. So you killed the people and buried the people because it looks like he has blood on his neck. The 
bathroom was incredibly clean, every surface had been thoroughly wiped, and nothing seemed out of place. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Anything? Okay. Ah, oh, this is creepy. And I gotta say, had I been sleepwalking again, was that how I got to that house? That, um, the door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guess it led to the kitchen. Guess I need a tool to cut that open. Um, I love games like this. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose up from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yes. I mean, you might as well. My leg hurt like hell as I climbed down that ladder. The tunnel below was even darker and the smell wasn't getting any better, but I had to get out of there and find my way home. Footprints in the dirt looked like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Okay. Places all over were marked on the old map of town, the industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. My, my. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the past few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. You... You did find some kind of information. Those, I knew I needed to take a look around. So yeah, I guess I got to go back up once I do this. Yeah, but being trapped alone in the house and, and that's the creepiest thing. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? No, I didn't even want to touch the thing. Better I left it right where it was. I have a feeling I would have regretted taking that gun. But I love games like this where the ambiance, there's no music. There's just the sound of the background noises. It was so dark down there and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? Dead bodies? The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He, I, V, he, I, re, ever, ro. None of it made any sense to me. Wait. Nothing about Rachel and me was written on there. Maybe I needed to keep looking. Did he find his wife cheating or some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wooden rope? It was caked with old blood. Oh, somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Oh, there are meat hooks. Crudely made shells. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. It looked like a cage? It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Blood. Blood, rust, and death. Let me check this door out. Oh, I don't like it. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. Who put them here? You did, you... I wondered... I wondered what I would have found if I had dug deeper. Uh, let me see. I can come back and I can get the gun. That's not a problem. Those boxes, I knew I needed to take a look around. <sighs> All right, so I gotta keep going. Because I know I need the shovel and the rake. And if you're already caked with blood, and if your uh, leg hurts like hell, and you're limping, 
you're already, you know, knee deep in the crime scene. Some kind of old boxes. They looked like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? Okay. Bats. Okay. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. I don't remember if I jumped down there or if I found another way. It looked to be a long way. Did I jump down? No. Maybe there was some other way to get down there without risking any more injury to my leg. Okay, good. No, I want to go back upstairs and get the shovel. What the hell is that? Rope. There was rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Yes. Excuse me? I have the rope now. Really? Oh. oh, I don't feel good. Probably should have taken the gun. Oh, man. I got so many chills. Oh, okay, okay. I want to go back up and see if I can get back up that ladder to get the shovel and stuff. Okay. Those boxes would have allowed me to climb up the ladder again, but I didn't want to go back up there, not with that body and all that blood. Oh, boo. All right, well, I am gonna cut the video here. This game is creepy as all hell, and I'm loving it. I am loving it right now. I'm excited with each step I get chills and this is it's this game is making my skin crawl it's pixelated but the sound is really good and the atmosphere is perfect it's playing perfectly into my fears of limited visibility large unknown places and now we have voices so oh it's gonna be good it's gonna be good so thank you so much for joining me if you liked it mash that like button like there's no tomorrow share the video with the world hit me up on facebook hit me up on twitter hit me up in the comment section below let me know what you think about the videos thus far and i am the outlier and i will see you all in the next video